Welcome, uh, we are in the course again like this data structure course and I am going to actually show you that how do you create interactive video content using H5P. So let us proceed to this week one and in this week one I am going to first turn on the editing, turn editing on and once you turn on the editing you can actually add an activity. So choose an activity for example let us choose an activity. Uh, we choose H5P activity and once you click add, you are actually in the interactive video on data structure creations and you can see that all content types are coming, interactive video and you know once you select, you can create video enriched with interactions. You have different options, you can actually try all different things that are loaded into this particular server. So let me create an interactive content and uh, you know what happens with this particular content it's actually going to you know enrich your experience in terms of teaching and learning. So you can exit the tool you can actually add a video for example you need to upload a video file but as I'm saying that the video file you will try to actually have it uh, in a very you know precise content in terms of its size and uh, you know you can also put a video source here but uh, let me just put up a content here from my google drive and what i do i download this content to a location and then once it is downloaded it's a very small content so we wait till it gets downloaded It's about uh, 15 MB content, but try to have a video which is small in size so that you know you can actually manage the content because you in LMS you have a storage space limitation. So I go in now, I can actually choose this content which I just downloaded. And this content is getting uploaded. You can see here we're adding a video. And uh, once it gets uploaded, but this uploading actually is taking place inside LMS. So try to have a very small video footprint, no more than three to four minutes. And once you see it's, it's the quality is which one you like, you can actually have this quality parameters. The level is, let's say, you know, let's say HD. Or maybe you can say 360p we can actually bring it down to a smaller one you can edit the copyright you can actually put a title here data structure basic and author is your name you may put up a year 2021 you can put up a source here my source for example license and license version also you can see now display this and once it is done then actually you can proceed to the final editing i can close this one to see more detail of that license and then you come here so once it is done now you go into interactive title interactive video and then you may have a short description understanding of data structure and then you can add a poster image and then you go to the next step is add interactions so now when it comes to add interactions if the video is getting loaded yeah you wait for some time you can actually add you can exit Okay, so you can track it into different content areas. Yeah, you can see my content now. So suppose this is a place where you like to add a question. For example, single choice, multiple choice. You can have different types of questions. Let's say I consider a multiple choice type questions. And then I put up a button, this kind of button or this button. So let's say this button I choose and then level uh, Y data 
structure and then you go into the question it's untitled you can say basic multiple choice question question number one why data structure is important and then once you put you can have this option fundamental you know building blocks fundamental building blocks suppose this is the correct answer option two uh, computing and then you can add more options you can have feedback you know you can actually say fill in the feedback score range you can actually have different score range you can add the range let's say for this you can also close it if you like and uh, you can have behavioral setting we try yes general we keep it as default adaptability you can have action on all correct you can have different branching of the content and then done so what happens see you can see why data structure is coming then i can pull further and i can add another interactions you can have a lot of options to do this and once it is done then you go on to you know it's automatically you go for the next step is summary task done so you may have some you know interactions you can say here certain statements statement one and two and then you can add more statements so once it is done you know uh, you go into step three and then it is you can also add metadata which is used for serving and then you go for grade options you can add actually whether it is a category since we have not set the grade book i will show you how you do it you can also add restrictions like before like let's say activity you have to choose certain activity to complete before you come here you can have activity completion by themselves competences i will talk about in different yeah slides so let's go ahead we can actually adding this okay so this title is basic foundation i missed this title so now i can actually save it save and return to the course and you can see that this activity is added with h5p and if you click you can also put a date and you know time of it you can see automatically you can test it yeah you see it's interactive video you can run it and it's automatically this is the question point so when you reach here you see here when you come here and then it comes into this question why data structure you have to answer that so you know it's all about fundamental building which it's randomized automatically check then you can continue yeah so it's very interesting right so let's proceed to our basic building block we have seen how we work with uh, you know hybrid especially h5p content and thank you for watching